Now, it seems that the NEC is struggling. Now, one of us will not copy with this particular secret. No, I catch on. But it seems that what we NEC leaders we will not do the good of just because one part of it they are trying to disappoint former president of the Mama. And so, okay, what that man said, Messi Siano, who will phone you now from Yapa, which my former president, but was that she will share, 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 share. Okay, so um, welcome once again. My person may trade and never how do I meet you? Jadi Kuntia, in my opinion, NDC is struggling to push through their campaign messages or to wage the campaign leading to the December 7th elections. Now, I mentioned six main points. Ah, I'm a Omuntimi campaigning that effective. Now, I want to explain them. The first one I mentioned, you know, I had a northern block. And this is how it is. They basically gained from waging a lot of propaganda about the Northern Bloc. And the, okay, yeah, NDC in the past um, elections would always, especially here in the Ashanti region, would always talk about Northern region. Now, Omar Pege NPP against the Northerners. Now, Omar Manaya say NPP for MP Northerners are same cry. To extend, say, the Kakumabia Mia to Abba. Then quickly, now my chassis, a to Chimaya, my Fi, a war, if Kumasijum, and the other areas. No, just to stigmatize NPP, say, Omone is in for a more. But because NPP strategically um, gotten their candidates from that part of the country, no, now it has killed that, that, that kind of propaganda. Once and for all, a kunukra, and they say, I must show love. So, Mutimi, Kaya, you for cry, taxi free hope. Now, a moment of training, a B, a yellow buses, a B, and so so, AJ, other form of training. That tells you that NPP has been able to deal with that aspect of the Northern Bloc. Then, the next one, basically, in dealing with the last some not in Ghana campus, it is very, very valid. It is so, 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 so valid. Listen, now people do not. Think that Dr. Amut Bam was going to be a, a good choice. But when we start, it got to a certain point you now that everybody realized, yes, it is. Because imagine that Saddam Aziz went to Mwanya, they would have used it even in the elections. They would have used it in, in, during this period. What the Galam said, wow, wow, for a long time, and this support, they have campaigned. But they have campaigned. What Abra and Galam said was, was started way, 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 way back. But you see, hmm. he also has to do with the enlightened society now the society has become much 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 enlightened in the end no propaganda no a year you may be and that service of your bfe will be able to make a kind of obey to make sure at the end in the end society and this is first now and this is what you call in class you know and that will be to cross a cry I think you have a can be announced with the Baba to platform be our worship. In the society now, you have more enlightened. In the only push through the propaganda and thrown on your dinner and co. And that is why they are struggling to wage a strong campaign. Then, so to all your add up to Nazama working, the reason why I see say when you meet and I do obi a service every when you move on, Kaka will feel is because of the free SHS. It has contributed significantly. And you may, you may, uh, it is arguably one of the best oil policies ever. Arguably one of the best, even in the whole of Africa. Ah, pre President TB, I mean, you know, to fly in, into Ghana to come and learn about the free such as how it is being implemented in Ghana. Then maybe in the future, they will also think about going to that sector in their country. I know you feel, you know, this particular thing is just to make and enlighten the people to Increasing them to a certain degree because a check baby Ghana was South Saharan Africa baby Ghana Shana literacy levels no are high, but a Ghana it too why not you don't know if so you high that then I would make sure that my face is just a Obama why a star of Africa as Ghana always is the the other one basically has to do with lack of if a clarity on their message. I was like, I'm going to introduce several messages. Almost that till we're 24 hour economy and few others. But everybody is giving different explanations. So there's no clarity on their campaign messages. Yes, they have enlisted a lot of campaign messages, but they are not able to give clarity to them. And that is why they are struggling. Why? Because 
these messages are not well thought through. These policies are not well thought through policies. So that among, uh, communicators are not able to explain. Even their flag bearer struggles to explain the 24-hour economy. And that is why they are struggling. And basically, this is what is going to affect them in the uh, December 7th elections. Thank you. It's a general career says in Kabomas and Bompede as often struggle. I will say struggle or a part of life, them are seven seven. Also, the uh, seed time, the harvest shall never, shall never. I mean, we all understand that Babu Nuku Kraka, there as 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 there is a pure, there is a pure, there is a pure, there is a really kaka just to learn. It's only that it is part of life. But you see, when they say you are struggling to maintain a campaign tempo. When they say that you are struggling, knowing that you are a political party with enough, enough expertise, with supporters all around the country, I catch them that you are struggling as at now. It is because I want you that you are not going to learn. I told, I told, I told, I told, I told Look at town now; it is ending you. I could villages now. I could, I could chat to no smoke tax, but then I share because of the taxation move you with the baby because of fear situation. I'm not going to break. Because I call, I believe you want to angry you. Because I call travel from maybe I, I call face it. Just no way that somebody can get through because I call social media with a problem. And the villages they know what is happening in the cities. But more than that, you will know because you have your name, count, and command, and find out who you need. Who is the principal? We are building a better Ghana. We are not building a country where political party, but we are building a better Ghana for all. But more than that, you will know because you have your video. No video or to Joy FM or to OK FM or to Asempa Radio. That's what they tune in to listen. So you have a responsibility to put out information that has to be correct. You do not always listen to MPP, NDC, and then you put the story together. You must have. So that after you have said what MPP has said, after you've said what NDC has said, they said that, okay, but now here's Joint News Research Desk. X number person. What did you find? He said, okay, we found out that there's a conflict between Article 77, 97, and 99. And how the conflict resolved, we spoke to this judge. He said this. We spoke to this person. He said this. Our in-house lawyer said this. Then you are beginning to build credibility for your media house. Because nobody wants media houses not to give their opinion. Everybody is happy with that. That's what Fanny Michael was saying. You can give your opinion. What we ran down the touch screen is purely our editorial opinion. We have to make sure that it's correct. Otherwise, people don't, listen, don't respect what we do. If we put things out here that are wrong, people don't respect what we do. If people don't respect what we do, we are out of business. So that's our responsibility that whatever we put out here must be solid. And then we can add other opinions. People tune into Good Evening Ghana to watch Good Evening Ghana, not necessarily to listen to a politician. If listening to the politician helps them to form an opinion, they are happy that Good Evening Ghana brought that politician. Okay, they say I'm talking too much. I should stop. I'm very passionate about media, media stuff when it comes. But I saw my friend Captain Smart saying something. When he got very disappointed about the... <laughs> about the NDC's inability to take up the minority majority seat in parliament. He said something about NDC. But look, listen to my friend God's Braid. Listen. Nadrina Matias, yes, sir. NDC a useless grouping. And run Nadrina Matias, yes, sir. NDC a useless grouping. And run Nadrina Matias, yes, sir. NDC a useless grouping. And run Nadrina Matias. And run Nadrina. It is not a problem. It is about the people who are adv advancing the course of the campaign for either, either candidate. I think that the people advancing the course of the campaign for John Mahama must step up their game. We have 44 days to go, but they still must step up their game because at the, I mean, at this, as of today, everyone knows that Dr. Baumia has done more campaigning than John Dramani Mahama. Well, the Dr. Baumia need to do more campaigning. Yes, he, did, he needed to. He was a government candidate. People said the economy is not working. People said he's a liar. He needed to come out of his shell and show the people what he has been doing in the back room. Uh, after six months, four months of the campaign trail, it appears that gradually people are beginning to hear Dr. Baumia out. They're hearing him out. And um, it's, it's just sort of changing some things for his fortune in the December election. It's beginning to look another way. <laughs> okay. It's one minute past uh, 10 o'clock. Uh, on the clock, let me bring in this conversation as we talk about campaign. And uh, we'll be mounting the touch screen very soon on the book and then also on the, the American election. Wait for that. Wait for that. Okay. Um, le the the uh, message. You know, I was talking about John Mahama's campaign. And I've, I've been concerned about 
it, that when we have elections in Ghana in 2028, we want it to be such that both political parties have a high profile level of uh, plans, programs, slogan, policy. We have to bring it up to that level. That's, that's what I've been worried about. I've been worried about a campaign that doesn't seem to be pushing up to tell the youth that this is what I have for you. When the campaigns do that, it suggests that they don't respect the Ghanaian people. They don't, they don't care about them. Because you want people to vote for you. You really must have a message. You must put a message together. It may be wrong. It may be left. It may be right. But it is a message. You must have something that you are communicating to the people and telling them that this is the reason why I want you to vote for me. If you are not telling them the reason why you want them to vote for you, then why are you running the election? Why should they give you the power in the social contract, uh, Rousseau's social contract? We should give you the power so that you can rule, but you're not telling us what you're going to use the power for because the power belongs to all of us, you see. So if we give it to one person, which we all do on December 7th, we have to at least know what that person is going to do. We are all not going to vote for him and human beings all over the world don't vote because of policy only. People vote because of other reasons and you have to grant human beings that. They vote because I may vote because somebody is handsome. I vote because he's tall. I vote for a woman because she's pretty. I vote for a man because he speaks my language. I vote for a man because his name is like my own. Yes, there will be all of that kind of thing. It will be there. But it will be reduced to a significant minimum once the policy decisions, the big ticket issues, why are we voting for you? Here's a conversation between Ambassador Spiel Gabra, uh, NBC stalwart, and City FM's Bernard Avle speaking just after the 2016 election. And I'm suggesting to you that the things that Spiel Gabra said in that interview are relevant and present today. Have a look. I'm going to ask NBC communicators, what was our communication message for 2016? They say, well, they can't remember it. I want to ask them, what was MPP's message for Ghana in 2016? They, they rattle off a lot of things. 2016, Abaton, Abra message, Nekacha Ghana for the Yaba. What to Abama Hena Yabe, Hana Nobeke, your message is Nibi. Obia Man and Sadu, you are a bit more man and Sadu. Messages are your walk there, Yaba. What to Abama Hena? Yes, then. Any message? Oh, the man. Hey, slogan, slogan, you don't. Changing lives, transforming Ghana. Okay. It will change your life and transform Ghana. I see. You see, MPP4 MP message in one of the KB. 2016 election. There's a one factor. How about ZBO? I see. Very good. How about ZBO? Free SHS. One bit one down. These are your communicators. NDC communicators, 58 of them in. Asante region and many other delegates have met all over the country. They couldn't tell, tell you me what message NDC had for the people of Ghana in 2016. Any of you raise your hands. What was our message? No, seriously. And they say, well, we didn't have a message. And whatever message we oh, had. There is an infrastructure or something. No, something. No, they say, well, that's a green book. But the green book is not the message. And in any case, the green book only wow. demonstrated that NDC had done wonderful infrastructure work. Yes, very important. But the election was not about the past are all externally owned. And so when we put our music on those platforms, it's not surprising that the, the returns in terms of the payments that are made to our musicians are very little, very little. Uh, and they are not much to write home about in, in general. And so the issue for, for us of making sure we have a, a streaming platform locally uh, for music uh, and put in all the catalogs from, from A to Z that we can find in Ghana on the platforms. That has been something that it has needed uh, to be done for, for a long time. And so we've been uh, working on this issue uh, Musica, Gamro, the music producers, and the private sector, the IT sector. We've been trying to, over the last couple of years, see about putting together a music streaming platform, a digital uh, platform for Ghanaian content developers in the creative arts, as I said, to facilitate 
the tracking, collection, and distribution of royalties in the first place, and also to enable creativeness and assess and manage revenue, and also to help man maximize opportunities. So that is a very, very important part. When I, so I, I had a meeting today, as I said, I, one of the meetings I was to have today was on to get an update and we'll take some decisions on the streaming platform. On the streaming platform, I am very happy to let you know that the work has been completed. The work has been completed and we have joint work between Musica, Gamro, the produce, music producers, and the private sector. And it has been completed. And we are going to support this and uh, make sure that uh, we take care of the development expenses related to this platform for the industry. So in all, uh, I think today I was satisfied after the various presentations that were made to me that we are ready to outdoor this new local streaming platform for Ghanaian musicians and film, film producers. That was al Haji Bahamadu Baumia talking to um, the recently talking to the um, the musicians and the stars, the creative arts people, about uh, how he wants to help them make uh, returns from streaming platforms. And so he's going to create a national streaming platform because when you stream on Spotify, uh, the deductions are many: deduction to the government where Spotify is, taxpayers, uh, uh, deduction to Spotify tax. Deduction, deduction, deduction. But if you're streaming it locally, it might make uh, it might be better. It might it might it might work better, and you might make more money. That's what he's telling the the musicians. That's what he's thought about their problem. He's been sitting down thinking about their problem because they are an important stakeholder. They are an important part of the Ghanaian community, and they are an important part if we want to use them for a development agenda. Every country uses this creative as for a development agenda. So you can't have India without Bollywood. You can't have America without Hollywood. And, and it is, it is an, a very, very critical part of the development agenda and something also to be able to export. So every politician, every leader must be able to think, must think about creative arts. He must sit down and have days and hours thinking about what we do with creative arts because we do have the talent. That's what some countries don't have. We have an amazing flow of talent in that area. So that's what Dr. Baumia was doing. So when you have a leader without a message and he's not also thinking about, oh, what can I do for people who have water tanks? Uh, what can I do for people who sell blocks? Uh, what can I do for people who buy petrol every day in their trotro? What can I do for people who are buying kerosene? These are the things that when leaders do, it brings out the policy. They sit down and think about it. They are driving through town, they are walking through town, or they go to some village. They look at it and say, ah, what can I do for these people? Look at how far they have to walk to fetch water. That's, and what is he, when he says, what, what, what do I have to do for these people? What is he discussing? He's discussing what do I do with the taxpayers' money? What do you do? Now, Demra, they may be out to know. I bring you nothing but the truth. I bring you facts back to back, back to back content. Now, but I'm not share video. Share, 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 share. Nobody's going to send a video. Maybe I share what you want to comment section. But from here, I'm going to share my video. I'm going to share my video.